uh, continuously that uh, we we requested uh, Dr. M. P. Punia, Vice Chairman All India Council for Technical Education, uh, Dr. P. R. Farooq, Director General Construction Industry Development Council, and uh, Member Secretary Engineering Council of India, and uh, Colonel B. Venkat, uh, Director uh, All India Council for Technical Education, to give the time, time. Uh, to give their valuable time for the valedictory session of the AIFT CIDP Parakh second batch valedictory program and fortunately today all they are available with us our uh, dr punia and the colonel venkat is just uh, uh, going to join and uh, dr p r farooq director general uh, Uh, construction industry development uh, council is available with us it is always a great pleasure and a very uh, 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 good luck to hear the doc- uh, hear dr p r farooq so sir i am uh, requesting uh, to you to preside over the program and uh, i am now uh, handing over sefan to our uh, most honorable mentor dr p r farooq sir please sir thank you mr ji and thank you all the faculty members who were available during the second session of uh, parakh program and uh, uh, very happy to see the participants who have joined today for this valediction and the last uh, a series of the lecture that is going to happen today i hope that uh, dr punia and colonel venkat are also with us very soon until then all i can tell you is that this is a path breaking initiative that aict has taken and uh, the purpose is very simple that we have to start looking uh, at the kind of uh, knowledge that is available with our uh, faculty members who are grooming the young minds and who are preparing them for the challenges of future i am very happy to note that an overwhelming response for these programs is being received almost uh, 300 participants registered for this program and uh, around 100 have been consistently uh, participating in the program there is a beautiful flexibility in this program and that is that if for some reason you are not in a position to be present physically you also have the option to look at the pre recorded lectures and uh, then prepare the multiple choice questions which are going to define how exactly are we going to transform our teaching content in future this also gives a great opportunity to all our academicians to come in close interaction with the industry representatives because majority of the lectures as a matter of fact all the lectures are being delivered by the practitioners those are the senior people in the industry and otherwise we keep hearing that academia is not actually in a position to get in touch with them so you have some of the best in the country who had been teaching you and variety variety of subjects and uh, it had been a very good uh, experience we, we have we have three more uh, sessions that are left which will be followed uh, hereafter so there is a kind of uh, recommendation that i have to make to all of you number 1 please inform all your colleagues and those who have not for some reason been able to join this program but yet registered they can go through the recording and they can basically come out with their mcqs that would entitle them to get the uh, participation certificates and uh, acquire the kind of knowledge which otherwise is not available in the academic domain so that is the first appeal that i have to make the second appeal that i have to make is that please tell this to all your other colleagues who have not been able to join and there are variety of reasons i can understand that apart from the academic responsibilities 
you also have number of uh, administrative responsibilities in your college but uh, i think this is something which is going to make the entire thing very worthwhile and as i i said that this is a path breaking initiative and this is going to put us on a track to make sure that the content that is being taught to our students that basically is transformed and made more industry usable and that is what basically will uh, help us to achieve the ultimate objective and that is basically to make sure that our students are fruitfully engaged and employed so i believe colonel venkat is here now and we would like to listen to colonel venkat colonel venkat most welcome and we are very happy to have you here please take over colonel venkat please can you can you mute can you mute yourself aman can you mute yourself yeah colonel colonel venkat Mishraji, can you request uh, Dr. Shivani to basically uh, have Colonel Vikrant here with us? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir yes, yes, Dr. Sir, Shivani. Sir, sir, sir has joined. I am just checking. Uh, maybe sir is mute. I will call him back. Just a second, sir. Yeah, yeah. He is mute. He is mute. You can ask him to unmute. Is Colonel Venkat able to hear me? Good afternoon, sir. Sir, uh, VCM sir join uh, shortly. So just a second. Mishra sir, uh, VCM sir will join. So uh, sir has already joined. Sir just uh, went to the VCM room and he will join shortly. Fine, fine, Dr. Shivani. So Dr. Shivani is saying that uh, Dr. Punia, Vice Chairman, and Colonel Venkat uh, is going to join him just now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let us just give a couple of minutes and let them yes, let them come in.
sir i think uh, it's more than 10 minutes if sir wants to say something he can speak na uh, when sir will join uh, punya sir they will speak otherwise uh, it will be delay for the process uh, dr shivani uh, colonel venkat sir uh, hai hai to aap unse request kar lijiye सर आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड हिम लाइक ही इज इन ऑफिस सर गए हुए हैं नीचे ज्वाइन करने के लिए बट आई थिंक सम आई डोंट नो तो मतलब आप लोगों का टाइम व्हाट आई व्हाट आई इज दैट मिश्रा जी लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद द द सेशन वे इट गोज ओके यस सर एंड व्हाट हु नेक्स्ट स्पीकर sir uh, uh, i invite uh, dr uh, niranjan farooq sir uh, director mm-hmm. general indian society for translative technology to uh, to address uh, the uh, the participant for young faculty so mm-hmm. sir uh, uh, please sir dr niranjan farooq sir nice uh, it's my honor to be with all of you <clears throat> i had uh, discussed about subsurface construction with everybody and i hope my communication was uh, good enough so that uh, you all the faculty members got uh, a basic information about the underground construction which is the uh, trenchless technology as well as kind of underground construction various methods and i vividly remember that that i have proposed creating a, 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 a city guideline and that basic guideline basically means that you would have the opportunities to interact with the various civic authorities of your city and if you interact with your city authorities naturally you would be able to generate solutions for their problem or for the problem of the urban areas say you are living in a smart city and in that area in case if the organization which is building up the smart city infrastructure is facing difficulties it would be opportune that all of you put i mean like the faculty members of the institutions which are based in that particular city or region can provide the advisory in absence of such advisory the projects get delayed and the nation loses substantial amount of money so it is on one part saving the money for the nation on the second part enhancing the engineering operations of the institution on the third part enhancing the skills of the faculty members and your laboratory people then on fourth it is basically enhancing the skills of your engineers so that they become employable i listen to people or people claim that uh, the employment opportunities to engineers are dwindling to avoid that it is always essential that we make them employable and this is one of the ways what we think should be appropriate for all of you my humble submission is that kindly visit the website of indian society for trenchless technology the details have been shared with you look at the things and in case if you have been able to frame questions for the uh, parak or aslap uh, i mean you can send those or create more questions and send those so that the answers can be provided and that goes into the repository which aict is creating and that way enhancing the possibilities of these particular skills coming into our engineering field believe you me we are going for iot that is internet of things and many many things or many many inputs that you can get from trenchless technology are part of it and they will help the smart cities function seamlessly i think this is my uh, my submission i have shared my email id and in case if you have missed it uh, mr mishra would uh, again share it with, share it to you do communicate with me for any further inputs or to take the matter forwards so with this i will conclude my brief talk i am handing out over to mr pavan kumar mishra please take it over mr ji sir the I, I am inviting uh, uh, engineer uh, professor O P Gupta sir to discuss the several topics. 
she just uh, uh, giving uh, asking for one two minutes and uh, he will discuss the different legal aspects and arbitration because he has taken uh, two sessions related to the dispute resolution arbitration and the different legal challenges uh, which the uh, uh, which the project so far so sir gupta sir is just coming to to discuss uh, his part sir by the time mr gupta comes let me also have a few more uh, suggestions which i can give to the faculty members and uh, i think gupta ji has just come so uh, uh, gupta ji can unmute himself gupta ji can you unmute yourself unmute unmute yourself gupta ji please unmute yourself Gupta ji, please unmute yourself. Uh, Mr. Mishra, please call Mr. Gupta and tell him to unmute him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think I think Mr Gupta is disconnected sir sir, sir he, he is trying he told me that he okay. is trying But okay sir, so meanwhile I, i will continue so that uh, we can we can utilize the time more fruitfully and uh, there are few more advices and suggestions that i have to give to all the participants Uh, there is a small problem that all of you must be facing and that is about the students internship and this uh, yes sir i am you too uh, is a is a very major problem that through our interaction with various colleagues we have come to know so okay i am come up Sir, yes, please speak. Please, <coughs> please, please speak. Sir, sir you have taken uh, two sessions related to the arbitration and the legal challenge, legal issues. So we are inviting you to uh, to discuss with the participants are uh, related to the your session and the future aspect of uh, the uh, the dispute resolution and other uh, related areas. Sir. sir please sir sir i have talked about the arbitration now you know arbitration now india wants that it should be the international hub for the arbitration and we have talked about this but there is one institutional 2019 arbitration act is very clear that it will be institutional arbitration but there are hurdles that when it was notified 
on 30th of August, then it was clear that there are certain sections which were checked up and they were not notified. The sections which were notified are at section number 1, 17, 23, 29, 34, 37, 45, and 15. These were, there were three new sections which were added. There were 42, 42B, and 87. Now when I say section 4, it is section 17. Section 17 is nothing but interim relief measures. We have seen that the problem with the code was having under section 9, the same power has been given to the arbitral tribunal in section 2. Yes, sir. So, Guptaji, I think uh, uh, what Guptaji wanted to convey to everyone, and Guptaji, now you can mute yourself, uh, okay. is that apart from teaching the engineering subjects, ultimately your students are going to go and work for the industry. And that is where you require the kind of understanding and knowledge. So there is a brief introduction that Mr. Gupta has given through his sessions. We'll look at that also and include your questions because ultimately your students are going to be getting involved with the industry, conducting business or providing the services. And they ought to know about it. So make necessary inclusions. Now what I was explaining at that point in time was, when Mr. Gupta came in, was that this internship is a very major issue which is actually uh, creating a bit of a problem for majority of the institutions. And one of the reasons has been that we have not been able to really get in touch with industry to understand what exactly industry is looking for in the students who are being groomed and trained and how they will be engaged and employed. Now to that extent, you can always let this be known within your college. Let the students of your college contact uh, through the college administration, CIDC, so that we are in a position to extend them the support when it comes to internship part is concerned. Another, another issue that is basically very important in my mind, and you should all carry that message to your management also, and that is that each of your colleges, they have number of laboratories that you have. And these laboratories are actually being utilized for extending the training support to the students that you have there. But beyond that, there is hardly any kind of monetization that is taking place. How can we make these laboratories monetized? And how can we start generating the work out of them, which is Can you please mute yourself? Yeah. So how can we basically make good use of these laboratories? There is a huge number of such laboratories that are existing there. AICT. affiliated institutions also number almost about over 3,500 or so, if I am right. Find out if they are interested to basically seek the support so that these laboratories can be put to some good use. So now, uh, these are few of the things that I thought I should let you know in this closing uh, session. And uh, my earlier request remains that please speak to your other colleagues, your friends, and let them also join this particular program. Uh, in the coming sessions. The registrations are already on and I think on 5th of February we shall be starting the third batch of uh, uh, Parakh program. So please convey this to everyone. Now I would like to keep the house open for any questions that you may have or any other suggestions that you might like to give. So Mr. Mishra, till such time uh, uh, you know Dr. Punia and Colonel Venkat join let us basically have the open house and seek the comments from the participants. And I will encourage all of you to come back and tell me what exactly, uh, how have you found this program? 
is there anything that we should do to improve it or add few more things and more dimensions that is something that you need to tell me so i am just now letting you speak and we will have the interruption and we will stop it uh, when uh, colonel uh, venkat and uh, dr punia join but then please carry on with your questions please okay i have this habit of inviting yes uh, mr kulkarni please come yes sir thank you sir uh, yes thank you very much uh, for providing opportunity to have interaction uh, what yes. i have seen is that uh, we are uh, continuously trying to interact with industry and industry is also supporting us industry yes. is very positive the challenge is that uh, the number of man hours and the energy and the amount of time that is dedicated for the theory subjects in time table with the students mm -hmm. is a big challenge so if mm -hmm. we use that amount of time for theory hours like for example if we consider 6 hours a session 6 hours a day then 2 mm -hmm. hours maximum should be dedicated for theory and 4 hours should be there for work this is I not agree. The, this is not the uh, thing which is available in syllabus and i have right. heard that management uh, does look into this matter that whenever a teacher is there he is supposed to take so many number of lectures only so these lectures mm. are going in vain to be frank so, but mm. if we reduce the number of time yeah, yeah. up to 2 hours per day only theory and mm. remaining 4 hours for work then i think there mm. will be huge uh, transformation thank you very much sir very good uh, professor and i think it is going to Uh, be one of the recommendations that we are going to make to AICT. As a matter of fact, let me tell you that uh, the basic purpose of this Parakh program is also the same. And uh, the reason why this Parakh program has been launched is that there should be a transformation in the way we are teaching our students, and that means that more emphasis be given to the practical subjects. And of course, the people who have to teach. they need to be taught first then only they can basically go and prepare their students so that's a wonderful suggestion and you can write it and send it to us and from your college and we will compile all such recommendations all such comments that you have and we'll give it to aict as a kind of a feedback so can we go to the next one can we have the next opinion Uh, good evening sir i have a suggestion yes can you introduce uh, sir, yourself sir can my you name is sir yes sir. my name is pushkar shinde i am from indian vp skbt college of engineering nasik i am in yes. computer engineering department yes yes so my suggestion is that the whatsapp group that we have made for this particular fdp so it should be mm -hmm. continuously kept on and the speakers if they find any more material latest material mm -hmm. as they come down the line they can share on that whatsapp group so we feel right, that that right. whatsapp group can be kept live even after the fdp and some additional right. material as new technologies come can be shared in the whatsapp group thank you sir right right i i think uh, Uh, Professor Shere. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let me. Yeah, let me let me respond. You have also made an excellent suggestion, and let me let me tell you that the easiest way of doing things, and this is where basically I am urging upon all of our friends who are here and who had participated in the earlier sessions also, to subscribe to CIDC's YouTube channel. What we are doing is. that all the lectures that you have undergone they are all hosted on the idc youtube channel they are already available there so even if somebody doesn't have the time they can go through that and as i told you this is the second batch that is getting over now we have three more batches to go and believe you me all the lectures that will be delivered in the subsequent batches also will be hosted there so there is going to be a tremendous addition to the to the kind of uh, uh, knowledge pool that we have there so my recommendation to all of you will be and if you have not done that please immediately subscribe 
subscribe to youtube channel it doesn't cost any money but then it will give you an access to all this material that is available there and all the lectures in future as well and there are going to be related advanced level lectures that are going to take place we shall be hosting on cidc youtube channel okay sir thank you okay. sir thank you very much and god bless you so let us come to the next question let us come to the next question shall i start calling the names shall i start uh, calling your name and ask you to come and uh, make your comments or you will come on your own okay we'll start with mr pushkar professor pushkar please come in so it was a very nice i just asked the question suggested the solution right. on whatsapp sir so you really you, nice you, you have you have done that yes, all right sir, so so now let me call uh, professor ajit behra professor behra all right the next one uh, amit munjal yes sir good afternoon sir yes amit come on uh, so it was basically a very nice experience although i am from electronics and communication background but still yes. i enjoyed most of the lectures and uh, my best lecture was of the pune smart city it was mm -hmm. very very nice seminar nicely presented and they are doing a very ni nice call also good and i good. basically appreciate them also that ki uh, they have uh, converted their center into a war room covid war room within 48 hours that's a really yes, yes. incredible job they have done Yes, yes, yes. I like. Yes. I basically like that very much. You see, you have to all to understand something. You yes, see, sir. ultimately, ultimately, what is our aim and objective? Mm -hmm. The aim and objective is that, irrespective of the fact whether you are an electronics engineer or you are a civil engineer or you are a mechanical engineer or you are a chemical engineer, when yes, you sir. go out in the field, it is always the conglomeration of many of the branches that you have to put together. Right. and that is that is the way the solutions come now right. when I, i give you an example you are making let us say thermal power plant you require knowledge base of electrical engineering you require mm -hmm. the knowledge base of mechanical engineering civil engineering mm -hmm. mining uh, planning uh, even the commercial issues for that matter so we would like the younger lot of the faculty members to change and transform their way of thinking that they are mm. only limited to one particular branch only and mm. they have to start picking up that where exactly their mm. branch is being utilized when it comes to the final solutions you get my point so yes definitely that's, definitely that's a that's a that's a good thing and i'm so happy to hear that you enjoyed your session with the pune smart city yes sir so can i speak something uh, activities and uh, now let me hello let me basically can i speak something aman preet yes please please, please. Yeah, come out, come out. Okay, uh, Doctor Wagmare. Ah, uh, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Ah, uh, sir, this is. Uh... actually i want the clarification previously aict sla project was launched in the month of june yeah we used to submit the 60 questions that uh, project and this project is same sir 
Yeah, it is the same. It has been renamed as Parak. Uh, actually, there was a pending for the remuneration which we have to get. No, in this program there is a Some change. Remuneration we have got. Uh, Sarup sir, no, very, no. very good evening sir. Sorry, butting in between sir. Extremely sorry. Anil sir, if I may answer your question directly. That's yeah, a different yeah. activity. This is an absolutely different activity. Expecting remuneration out of this activity is not correct. Because that time no, it no. was straight away it told, might... sir, 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 hear me out, hear me out, sir. In your instance uh -huh. which you quoted earlier, that time the idea was to straight away generate questions. Those questions was on level one, two, and level three, maximum level of difficulty. So it was made as a financial model, basically to start with Parak. That is students learning assessment. As we started to move ahead, and today we are nearly speaking five to six months down the line. And today we are at a position where we seem to be graduating from the basic questions to applicability based questions, design thinking based questions or analytical questions connecting with industry. This is where we requested Swaroop sir to please come in and take a faculty training programs for our faculties. Number one benefit. Faculty members get connected to the best industry. That is a benefit which a faculty is getting. And this training is free of cost to faculty. No one has to register or pay anything because this is an AICT program. Swarup, sir, let me tell you, is doing charity. Sir, I hope I am I'm not speaking anything wrong. But the question lies is it has to be in no 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 we are not doing charity, we are investing in the future of the Sir, nation. wonderful, wonderful. This is what we, we, this are is not, what we, are we expect charity. that any program, any activity has to have an outcome or an end state. The end state of this program is what we expect every faculty member to be aware of the industrial requirements and go back to your institute, align your curriculum to industry or that much more interact. One. Number two, because you people are getting with industry, so every faculty member to generate certain questions which are industrial based questions on applicability. So this model and that model is totally different, sir. So it would not be correct to compare. That's the reason I thought I should come inside and clarify, sir. No, no, no. it's good. Good, 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 good that you have come in. Basically, the objective still remains same, but then there is no question of any remuneration because this is where we are looking at the partnership, which is actually to build the future of the nation and the young people. It is not something which is a paid exercise. So I am good. I am happy that you have clarified it. Colonel, you have to say your piece. You have been missing all this while and you are being charged as a defaulter. Now Answer. you are good. You are going to be saying your piece. Go Absolutely. ahead, please. Swarup, Go sir. Ahead. Pleasure interacting, sir, and all other uh, esteemed colleagues. Very senior to me, in fact. Uh, my due regards to everybody. Uh, let it the outset be complimenting this training program of AICT along with uh, CIDC. And let me straight away compliment Swarup, sir, and his complete team. The genesis of this program has been spelled out. The genesis was to increase the assessment items now, no more we are calling them multiple choice questions. We keep graduating ourselves also. So henceforth, the multiple choice question will be called as an assessment item so that the environment does not take this portal tomorrow, the Parak portal or students learning assessment portal as a examination. The whole idea of students learning assessment bracket Parak happens to be students oblique faculty members very much faculty members can also take is to continuously periodically keep taking assessment and keep seeing where is the improvement scope for me and every time you people take assessment we sitting at AICT also get to understand that what more we can develop our portal where are the gaps how those gaps can be further filled up that is what is the overall genesis of our portal and this training program connects you through CIDC, that is Swarup Sir's initiative with the industrialists, those leading industrialists who themselves are responsible for placements at all level. 
when we talk of campus placement there has always been a talk i have interacted with multiple companies everybody has come across to me by saying that our students do not possess sufficient or requisite skills as far as industrial requirements are concerned and they are very right because somewhere we stick to our curriculum with no industrial correct we stick to a curriculum which is 10 years old it has never been revised this is where the industry then always gives a problem so we interacted with swaroop sir and we requested sir you being at the helm of affairs at industry level and at the same time you have a motivation and inclination to take our teachers forward why not sir you only take this responsibility of making our teachers connect with industry so this is the platform this is the second of the training programs which aict and cidc is doing the first program had a phenomenal response and a phenomenal outcome wherein the teachers at the end everybody was of the opinion that they are yet to see a program connecting with industry so please see these programs as a benefit of a faculty member to improve your workplace environment this is how today we collectively can take our students to not only get employed as per the demands but be in a position to even generate employment everywhere that we have gone i have heard only one thing that the rejection rate at campus placement is more than the acceptance rate it is because we do not ever see the requirement of the industry and we keep training them keep training them in a very very sequential repeated manner i think we need to be thanking swaroop sir we need to be thanking his whole team for actually letting us know that where is the shortcoming and let me tell you this has got multiple outcomes one which i can see immediately beyond what we are expecting internship opportunities other thing which we can see is straight away absorption into the industry third and very important actually we can see that the emerging areas we keep talking emerging areas but we have never implemented emerging areas in reality this is the forum wherein you get connected please have a look at what is medical today a medicine also is nothing but equal to an engineering they both are bachelors but an mbbs student morning he studies evening he practices so his retention his application and his acceptance is that much more as compared to an engineering student so in case if we are getting this chance i think we should take it with both hands and that is what is our expectation our honorable vice chairman sir was very much wanting to come and be speaking he has suddenly got connected with another activity of regional languages there's another activity of national education policy which is going on uh, swaroop sir apology on his behalf but in due course sir will also get connected because this is the bread and butter of each one of us i am also at the core and at heart an engineer that's a different thing that i am serving with the indian army but i am serving as an engineer you people are all serving the nation as an engineer but as an academician that's the only difference between you and me so you people need to be at the forefront much much even beyond where i am because you have a direct bearing on the students thank you swaroop sir it's it's an absolute pleasure uh, coming on your platform it's an absolute brilliant that the way it is being done thank you sir thank you thank you thank you colonel sir when it is a, it is my pleasure to listen to you i know that you are tied up in 20 things at a time and you are very honor sir very... absolute honor prime times and you are you are you are you are awfully busy and tied up and uh, let's see rather two of the comments that came and i thought i should bring it to your attention 
the first one was where he said that if we are looking at the kind of overall objective of what we are doing the theory content of the btech program uh, system it has to be curtailed and it has to be reduced for not exceeding 2 hours a day because the rest of the time has to be utilized by the student to understand the real hands on kind of things and this is where basically we need to make a change so uh, i have already told him that we are going to be passing on such comments which come from my office to aict so that you are aware about the feedback as to how exactly the things are uh, we are also planning i mean i haven't told that but then we are also planning to hold a very important workshop of all the vice chancellors of all the technical universities very soon sometimes in february we are planning to hold that and this is going to be one of the major issues apart from the internship problems unemployment problem and how exactly the faculty members can be groomed and this has only been possible when i started getting the feedback from the parak program first session and even in the second session so these are the kind of this is the benefit that we have there the second suggestion that came also was very interesting and he said that that we should have these programs uh, continuously getting added and i have made my promise to them that cidc youtube channel is where all these lectures are stored you can go through them any time and as the subsequent sessions take place the balance three sessions the whole place will become a huge repository of feedback information and also a chance for anyone who had not been fortunate enough to have joined this particular program to basically practice the whole thing and learn and understand the things those who have already joined i have already said that i am urging upon them to subscribe to youtube channel it doesn't cost any money nobody is going to charge them anything they can always access this wealth of information because as i told you that this is an investment that we are making for future and this investment goes to basically the young students so uh, uh, this is this is why you were you were not there uh, i can i can almost see that there is there are a couple of more questions or comments that have come and uh, i would welcome them please come in introduce yourself and raise your questions sir well, my name is my name is dr yeah. devojyoti roy yes so i am a faculty yes. of mechanical engineering i am working in an institute in durgapur yes. my point of view is that i have seen that that whenever institutions recruit people they yeah. give much emphasis on that how much of teaching experience uh, rather than how much of industrial experience right. so there should be some revision in the outlook that right. uh, regarding these institutions they always right. give emphasis on that how much of teaching experience Right. They don't give emphasis on how much of industrial experience. Right. Some right. some some essential qualifications are okay, but preference right. should be also given to the industry experience people also. So the, in that way, it can help the entire scenario. Thank you, sir. Right, right. Hmm. I told you that we are going to hold. issue you see this is the time for us to start shaking the system employable and the biggest biggest tyranny problem that the nation is going to face now is that we are a young nation and there are many many young people who are coming out with the paper qualifications but they are not in a position to contribute anything when it comes to real delivery of the projects what to talk of country even outside as well and believe you me the world is looking at us looking at our young people like you know you have information technology where india has a prominent position and as a matter of fact whichever country you visit in the world the it systems are being handled by indian uh, youth only now i cannot call them young people but then they have been working for last 20 25 years and you have satya nadellas and you have sundar pichais who have gone and basically established their credentials but they have carried the flag of country with them 
so every time that they make some achievement we feel also very proud i would like my core branches of engineers they should also be doing the same kind of thing after all imagine the amount of work that needs to be done in all the countries in the world and who are the people who are going to be doing it these are our young people who will be doing it and with that spirit i think we should basically take up this program it is not about a small remuneration here or there it is about building up a future which is bright which is good for the nation and for the youth and they will remember you and bless you for rest of their lives in case you are able to build up their career as far as the regulatory systems are concerned we are already compiling the things and we will be giving it to icit as our recommendations and when we speak to the vice chancellors we will tell them to really look at it very critically and make sure certain major changes are brought in the whole system because we this is something which is inevitable whether we like it or not the change will take place so that is how it is going to be so any other question if anybody else has otherwise we can basically uh, thank everyone and close today's session i don't think uh, honorable vice chairman of aict would be able to join us i know that he is he is due to leave the country and go abroad as well as he has many other pressing things on his desk so while thanking him for the consent that he gave to be with us in spite of his busy schedule i think uh, we should basically uh, look at the kind of uh, uh, things that are going to go ahead and that's what it is what would you say colonel absolutely sir swarup sir uh, even though as much as vcm sir professor mp ponia sir would have desired to come here no, no, he is little I, occupied I, I he occupied which which is so very I, acceptable I, I, sir but his viewpoint has been I, echoed his viewpoint has been echoed in no uncertain terms by you yourself sir you are actually speaking yes. at a platform where sir we need to emulate your practices we need to be thanking right. you and on behalf of aict i sincerely thank you. thank you once again i sincerely thank, thank each you, and every thank participant you. who is connected end of the day let us let me let, let me let me let me give you some of the uh, you know statistics which you can convey to honorable vice chairman and that is that more than 300 participants actually enrolled for this program thanks to you and to dr shivani who had been spreading out the news and more than 100 participants regularly participated in these programs even today when we began the program we had almost like more than 125 participants who had been participating in here many of them expressed their inability because of the administrative responsibilities and things like that the mcqs are continuously pouring in and we are basically compiling and they will be sent to you and uh, with that i think uh, we can call today's program closed and thank you all and god bless you all jain sir regards to you sir regards thank you sir jai jai hind jai hind jai hind thank you sir